All right, friends, welcome back. We are talking about um, trigger mastery. Uh, I'm going to release it in two parts, two different videos. One to talk about uh, the stages of the trigger and how you can manipulate it, even in dry fire, to learn and get intimate with your trigger, which I think is super duper important. And I'll show you how. And then part two will be about how to implement that understanding on the presentation. Um, of the gun, even during a draw and presentation, and how do you get to the to the target at that full um, preparation to the final wall? Um, this talk has been inspired by a couple of different people. Robbie Latham has been talking about how to manipulate the trigger without moving the gun for a long, long time. JJ Rakaza has very similar if not identical to this talk in his live fire classes and so does Donovan Moore from Point One Tactics. So I am not by any means reinventing the wheel, rather sharing information that I have found valuable through training with these guys and reading books and all that stuff. So this is what I do when I get a gun and I'm trying to get used to um, how it feels, uh, how many stages of the trigger I have, where the final wall is, where the initial wall is and all that. So essentially, I'm gonna give you an overview of what I do when I get a new gun and how I get closer and closer to getting really, really intimate so that I can go to that final wall very, very quickly as opposed to what most people do is they'll go deliberately through the first few walls and then smash through the last maybe two or three walls um, that then moves the gun and makes it so that it's like really, really uh, challenging to get accurate, um, accurate shots on target and also follow-up shots tend to move the gun around so not coming back to the same exact spot that you're looking at. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different guns. Um, I've got some Glocks, some worked up Glocks. I have a couple of different SIGs, P320s, both worked up differently. And I have my USPSA um, M&P and how that's worked up, which is a little bit different than my carry M&P slash appendix class MMP. I think that one, because I've used it even more, is maybe a little lighter and the last wall has like no, no grit whatsoever. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So I'm gonna start with a super basic um, Glock 19 Gen 3, um, how to figure out exactly how many walls you have in there and how you get to the final wall. So I'm gonna be doing quite a bit of close up. So here we go. 